Welcome investors! Today we are going to talk about Yamana Gold. What the word Yamana means? I picked up two meanings. One, it is a Russian settlement with just 14 people and two streets. And the second, it is the name of the most powerful Japanese samurai clan from 14th century. Wah! 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 Woo! <laughs> I am very excited because Yamana is treating me very well for past 12 months and it really doesn't matter for me if it is a Russian settlement, settlement name or Japanese samurai clan. Woo! Wah! Woo! Woo! Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Yamana Gold is a Canadian company that owns and operates gold, silver and copper mines in Canada, Chile, Brazil and Argentina. Yamana, as of 2020, operates five mines, headquartered in Toronto. The company was funded in 1994 and became listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange in 1995 and on the New York Stock Exchange it was listed in 2007. Company market cap is 6.3 billion and employs around 5,000 people. Yamana is considered a mid-tier gold producer. Mid-tier producers are stocks that generally have the best risk-reward profiles. The reason why is because they generally are growth-oriented stocks and have a strong enough balance sheet to find a way to grow. It is not unusual at all to see a mid-tier producer double or triple in size in a short period of time especially when the price of gold is rising. Like mine, Yamana Gold Holdings, for past 12 months, they tripled. I invested around $40,000 and right now the shares are worth around $116,000. Later, I will show you my detailed holdings of Yamana Gold. Mid-tier gold miners produce between 300,000 to 1 million ounces of gold annually. Examples of good mid-tier gold mining producers are, of course, Yamana Gold, Kinros Gold, Premier Gold, Alamos Gold. The major producers of gold run above 1 million ounces of gold per year and more. And examples of major producers are Barry Gold, Newmont, Gold Corp, Agnico Eagle Mines. I made a video about Barry Gold. If you did not see it, I highly recommend you to see it. The third smallest category are junior miners who produce below 300,000 ounces per year. I will not give you good examples of junior miners because I don't feel confident to point any of them. Mid-tier gold producers have really the best upside potential. If you compare them to major producers, they have a room for increasing their production. And in contrast with junior miners, they already have infrastructure developed to handle big output growth where juniors are very often in the early stage of developing the projects and from developing the project to the time when the mine is operational and is bringing income to the company there is a long and very often painful way mining is extremely complicated business and many independent factors play a role in mining industry. For example, political situation in the country, local governments, local communities, 
environmental groups and more. If mining company wants to operate in certain country, they have to find common ground with all of those institutions, group of people, governments, and on the top of that, they have to be ready for the situation when the government changes and there is a different political group at the power with different political view towards mining industry. Good mining companies have to have talented engineers and skilled diplomats as well in order to be successful. Personally, I don't own any junior miners because there is too much risk involved in owning junior companies but you can profit much more by owning junior companies. I'm trying to mitigate the risk when investing in gold mining industry. And on the top of that, I don't have experience and knowledge with finding good junior mining companies. That's why I stick with mid-tier and major producers of gold. I take very calculated risk towards investing in gold mining stocks. Let's take a look at the financials of uh, Yamana Gold. Uh, trading data. Trading data, today's volume uh, as of uh, July 30th is 19 million shares. This is really a lot for the company with uh, market cap uh, $6.3 billion. Uh, when I was buying uh, almost more than a little bit more than a year ago, my shares, the trading volume was much lower. So you can see that there is more and more interest in uh, companies mining for gold. Of course because of uh, the prices of gold uh, going up so this is uh, this is main reason mm, valuation of the company as I said is 6.3 billion dollars enterprise value is 7.2 billion per earning ratio is 24.17 price uh, per sale is 4.5 and uh, let's take a look at the balance sheet of the company total cash is 330 million total cash per share is 0 0.35 company pays dividends total debt is 1.1 billion total debt to equity is 27 0.53% short term debt 43 million and long term debt is uh, 992.8 uh, million let's take a look at the revenue of the company so revenue uh, in uh, 2015 was 1.7 billion 16 2016 1.8 billion 2017 1.8 billion 2018 1.8 billion and 2019 1.6 billion and uh, last 12 months 1.4 billion dollars let's take a look at uh, net income of the company as you can see 2015 it's uh, minus 2 billion 2016 is minus 307 million 2017 is 188 million minus 2018 is minus 284 million and then when the prices of gold started going up in the Pretty much they started going from uh, 2016, but in uh, 2019 they were start they started going more steeply. So you have here net income 
225 million dollars and last 12 months is 260 million dollars right here you can see my Yamana gold holdings I started buying in May 2019 May 21st I bought 5,000 shares for two dollars that was the lowest price which I got for Yamana gold shares then June 14 2019 I got 4,900 shares for $2.08. Then June 20th, I got 8,000 shares, 8,163 shares for $2.44. And that's it. The rest are the dividends. And who says that the gold is not paying dividends? Of course, I'm joking because this is a company mining for gold. We are not talking here about holding and buying physical gold. Uh, but uh, not many uh, mid-tier uh, gold mining companies are paying dividends. So Yamana is, uh, is really the exception here. So as you can see on uh, July 12, 2019, I got uh, my first dividends, 29 shares, uh, 0.76 for $2.58. In October 15, 2019, I got 47 shares, 0.823 for $3.22. And then this year in January 14, I got 43 shares, 0.1950 for $3.57. And then uh, April 14, uh, 2020, I got 45.166 shares for $4.28. And then Recently, July 14, I got 44 shares, 0.381 for $5.46. So, my total investment, including uh, shares reinvested in Yamana Gold, is $40,936. And two cents, and my total uh, return on investment is seventy five thousand eight hundred and three dollars and twelve cents. So my dividends are around five hundred dollars. Yes, because this dividend here is accounted as a long-term return because it's been uh, more than a year ago. And those are in this line because this is short-term um, short gain. From Yamana Gold, stock is 100 85 percent over a little bit more than a year because I started buying in May 2019 let's take a look again at uh, Yamana gold chart this is one year chart and uh, this is a time when I started buying here somewhere here maybe a little bit earlier and then we are right here right now is the price is six dollars and forty cents and the price appreciation according to this chart is uh, 108 percent so as for me like i said earlier is 185 percent 
what I would like to say is uh, that this, in my view, is uh, the best, maybe not the best, but I would say um, the time to buy the shares is good right now because if they go more up to like $10, then uh, it's becoming too risky to buy them. Uh, what I mean by this, take a look at this chart. This is a chart for maximum time of uh, Yamana gold stocks and uh, we have a huge rally 2000 uh, from basically from 2006 to 2008 uh, and the price went almost to $20 at one point and uh, then it went down of course in uh, mortgage crisis and then we have another rally so we are right here and we will go and have similar rally like here where the price will go easily over 10 15 dollars per share for yamana gold but if you wait longer then uh, basically you cut your returns uh, and uh, and in my view, it's becoming less uh, less profitable to just enter the stock because there is going to be more and more people uh, jumping on the on the bandwagon. And uh, of course, the idea is to start buying somewhere where the price is the lowest, somewhere here around one dollar ninety nine cents. But since you missed this time and we are already at 639 i think this is a this is a last call uh, i wouldn't buy for for eight ten dollars actually me personally i stopped buying uh, the year ago uh, but like i said we will have the same rally like here we'll have somewhere around uh, 2021 22 or 23 because the mining industry is very cyclical and when i will know when to sell my shares i will just take a look at the mining clock mining clock which i was talking about in my previous video uh, when i was talking about barrack gold uh, it's uh, something which was developed by professionals uh, who knows very well mining industry and right now we are at 637 so we are slowly approaching the bull market and uh, there is more and more money floating into the gold sector there is more and more ipos there is more and more small companies being created but like i said earlier i'm not buying the junior companies because i don't have a knowledge and it is very risky to buy small companies unless you have a huge experience and knowledge about mining industry and you know what you are picking that's why i picked up yamana gold and i also have a kinros gold because these are mid-tier gold producers which are already established companies and there is room for increase in uh, in production and they can easily scale up the production so that's why i don't recommend uh, for someone who is like me simple investor without uh, knowledge about mining industry going to uh, junior companies because basically they can go belly up in mining industry there is many factors which can derail uh, the company permanently so i'm sticking with yamana gold and the time when i will sell my shares will be when this clock will be showing i would say 11 o'clock somewhere around 10 11 maybe 11 30 then this will be a time for me to start selling my shares of yamana gold 
So I'm really happy that I found this mining clock because I can basically use the knowledge of someone who is true professional and uh, and use this to my advantage, which is which is pretty great. It will save me a lot of time researching by myself and uh, coming to certain conclusions, which people who already are in industry for many years they already put together something which is I think extremely useful for um, for gold mining industry if you are like me a simple investor with not a huge experience in a gold mining industry and you want to benefit from the recent gold prices increase my recommendation is to go with mid-tier producers like Yamana Gold, Kinross Gold or if you want to minimize the risk more go with Barrick Gold but you have to hurry up because prices of mid-tier producers already tripled for past year and every month it is making less sense to buy gold mining companies because prices are going up sharply and you don't want to be in the majority of people who are buying gold mining stocks for very high price you want to be a guy who is buying Yamana gold for six dollars and selling for fifteen dollars you want to be in a minority group of contrarian investors who makes money off the stock market you don't want to be in the majority of group of people who are buying Yamana Gold for $15 and selling later when the price crashed to $2. You don't want to be a guy left holding a bag in the end who helped make money for someone else. Control your emotions. Buy when just a few are buying and sell when the majority is buying and the prices are inflated this is a recipe to make money on the stock market you want the stock market to work for you not another way in order to achieve this you have to behave in a way most of the investors don't behave in order to be in the place where most of investors don't go you have to do something what most of the investors don't do right now okay this is it for today just a little bit more advertising right now if you want to help me to grow this channel and if you want free stock there is a limited time offer on Webull you will get two free stacks when you deposit $100 on your account value of the stacks is up to $1400 so please use my link in the description if you have any friends family members who are planning to open an account on Webull please send them my link thanks to this I will get two free stacks with no extra cost to you I truly and genuinely appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time with me right here. If this video was interesting to you, please hit the thumb up, subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much again. Have a good day and always fight for your happiness.